Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kazu Redux, in which we gotta talk about quite a few events and focuses. Support from the Union of Britain. Today an envoy from the Union of Britain arrived. He brought with him promises of industrial assistance, naval advice, and technological support, along with kind words, or kinda words, of admiration for struggles. The capitalists may be strong in fighting us at every turn, but with allies such as these, we will best them regardless. Truly, worker solidarity is shining from the British Isles. Would you get more research speed for stuff? And amphibious invasion speed? More military factories? Thank you, Union of Britain and the Foster Conferences, or Confesses. Following the end of the Syndicalist Revolution, most members of the tool had pledged allegiance to the President and a massive show of support. However, Foster and his faction remain basically hostile to the goals of the revolution under the elected government. President James Burnham has spent the last several weeks building up a case to present to Congress, proving that a coup was in the process of being orchestrated by Foster that would end with him and most of Congress killed. A gaunt and limping William Z. Foster was brought uh, in front of Congress to admitting to leading a conspiracy with a group of dissatisfied Galeonists, anarchists, and began reading off names of would-be coup members in Congress, all of whom were known critics of the president. As the traitors' names were read off, they were walked out of Congress by armed guards. By the end of the speech, most of the four-fifths of Congress that remained yelled, Long live the revolution, clearly terrified. It appears that J. Lovestone has indeed had the last laugh on Foster and Associates. The question now is what to do with them, his supporters and the anarchists be arrested. Execute them? Jail the rest. Execute them all? Or jail them all? I kind of like jailing them all. I don't really want to execute them, to be honest. I really don't want to execute them. But, yeah, I should just jail them all. There you go. Cool. And we're doing proletariat commander. And we'll talk about a lot of stuff on the rights here eventually. Ah, uh, proletary commander. Cool. With our internal enemies decimated and our economy restructured, the present cannot take the true title of founder Burnham, commander of the American proletariat. We may not focus on global threats as well as bringing all remaining Americans into the managerial fold, which gives us more daily political power. Weekly stability, which would be great, especially since we're trying to activate everything in the world. Daily command power will be known as the social technique of America. I can talk about expanded uh, continental research for another research slot to seven. At the moment, continental research merely collects data for the continental committee, but it's time to be more ambitious. We should place all research under a single body that will be funded to have continuous research in a fundamental sciences and help coordinate resources with the other sequences. Chemical warfare. Just as it would make little sense to continue using swords after the invention of gunpowder, we cannot fall behind our foes in the latest weapons development scheme of what which promise to ensure American social American socialism's dominance for centuries to come if developed properly. The future is now, and the people send it. The politicians remaining in Congress are relics of a bygone era. While they still say or stay where they are for a moment, the Senate of technocrats who represent the heights of our economy and therefore truly represent the workers will be appointed, capable of vetoing any nonsense coming from the lower house. And also, we have, uh, we'll have we talk about this just a little bit. Um, I've invaded Greece just because we can and trying to bait them into attacking us. Uh, we're still doing okay here. Not great, but it's actually looking a little better than it was beforehand. And we lost a lot of planes and stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, we're trying to invade more of Africa. Ethiopia is a very long boy. And these guys are still struggling against the Raj Authority. Not much else has really happened. Um, well, honestly, probably joined this uh, CSA. Also, took out Costa Rica. And we're pretty much getting ready to take out the Andean Pact because we can. Uh, anything over here, anything over here, anything here? No, no, no. But I think off screen, I'm just going to go ahead. Well, let's do that one first, of course. And Chemical Warfare sounds like a lot of fun. I just want to see there's an event for this one as well. And I apologize for the lag. It's extremely laggy. Just because I'm actually at the time of recording, I'm processing, processing a video in the background. There we go. And expand content to research. Followed up with. Oh, we changed our flag. That's a nice flag. Okay, so we're probably going to come over here next. And off screen, I'm just going to go and do free the new world. Our place is not in the old world, but in the new. Our focus shall be achieving dominance in North and South America by standing tall as an independent syndicalist power rather than acting as subservient partners to the Europeans. Let us work to free our brothers from the shackles of capitalism. War plan Reb. Now our eyes must turn north to the British exiles in Canada. Though we had close ties to the British in our distant past, it has not been a friendly relationship since. We Americans have a deep hatred for the British monarchy. Let us end these royal fools and their followers once and for all and bring Canada into the fold. The Caribbean Revolution. The history of the Caribbean is filled with European and American exploitation. Most who live in this region unfortunately still suffer from under horrible conditions, and we should do something about it. Let us work to bring the revolution to the Caribbean and make sure that at last the Caribbean people can break their chains. Masters of the West, we have achieved our goal. America stands tall on its own, masters of the new world and free from the chains of capitalist domination. Regardless of what happens in Europe elsewhere, we will know that the West at least has fought for its freedoms or fought for its freedom and been granted victory. International collaboration. The international did not have to help us in our war, but they did. Britain and France could be major allies for us, but they need our help, and we should repay them for what they gave to us. Although they stand vigilant against capitalism <clears throat> and imperialism, our futures are uncertain. France has always been our friend, and we owe our existence to Britain. Let us join them together, we will never be defeated. American aid. American expertise must be put at the disposal of our allies, or at the very least, the enemies of our enemies. If they fight better, then together we stand a chance of victory, and invest in the West. In some ways, Western Europe is still recovering from the Valkyrie. To ameliorate this, we should start investing in infrastructure in some parts of France. 
as they are our most important ally, but also one of the, with the greatest risk of defeat should another war break out. Let us move quickly, and then save the Iberian Revolution. Our fellow revolutionaries in Spain are in trouble, however, all is not lost, and if we intervene directly, perhaps we could bring them closer in power in the Iberian Peninsula. Neither the king of Spain nor the Carlos can truly claim to represent the people, and Spanish citizens cry out for change. Let us give them the push they need, and paint Brazil red. Brazil is as diverse as we are, if not more, and has the potential to be a strong power in the Western Hemisphere. It is essential that we bring the revolution to the country, for with Brazilian assistance, we can easily dominate the rest of South America. This will be no easy task, but it must be done, for the good of the people and for the revolution. A true leader of the people. With our politi political turmoil coming to an end, James Burnham has declared himself the continental director of our republic, and therefore responsible for protecting socialism from the chaos caused by the elections that do little other than have the potential to destroy true socialism. While the remaining members of Congress collapsed with this announcement, he declared his lifelong devotion to guiding a truly American socialism into the future and against imperialists. Salute the commander! More stability, which is great. Political power? Fine. And American Workers' Party becomes a ruling party. And do we have elections? No elections? Just the way we want it. Left critics relocated. A litany of left-wing critics of the government have been reassigned to tasks that would help and be more beneficial to the revolution, most of which have, which have to do with ambassadorships to Pacific Island nations. Bon voyage! And uh, let's do our name. We can finally choose a name for a beautiful nation that better reflects our strength, our efficiency, and values. But what should it be? Social Technics of America, Workers Technet of America. Because right now we're called the Social Technet of America. American Technocratic League, ATL, eh, WTA, uh, STA, STA, Peop American People State. I kind of like that one. APS, uh, United American Social Republic. You, uh, sir. You, sir. You go, sir. Uh, workers techno tech workers technocracy doesn't sound too bad. I don't like the league. Social Technic of America. Uh, I like the Technic stuff. Workers Technocracy of America. WTA. I wouldn't go with that one. Why not? Agreements with the communes. With anarchist influence decimated on a national level and the military carrying out order to nationalize communes and industrial sectors of New York, the question remains what to do with the remainders. Lawrence Dennis suggests that allowing them to exist as semi-autonomous zones in return for them, offering some of their young for military service alongside other small tributes. Love stood and angered AWP supporters when an example made and went want to launch an all-out attack on the communes. Finally, while the technocrats usually try to stay out of political sphere in favor of the economics, they're clearly a bit disturbed by the suggestion and quietly say they would simply have them pledge their allegiance to new government and nationalize their industries, but allow them to self-organize their hours and preferences. Should the president cut a deal or not? See just for the greater good? Well, I mean, technically, Lovestone want an example and launch an attack on the communes. Um, I don't want to do that one, but they could probably still do that. Cool. Not bad as you see here. Um, we're still fighting these guys, and we're currently still doing uh, expand continent research. Kind of sucks. And we've got some capital gunnery. I'm just thinking there's another event for our guys really soon. If not, then I'll probably show you guys when we are very close to uh, beating up some of these guys. Because actually, we just invaded Malta, but our flag. <clears throat> It is time to choose a flag to represent our nation. More technocratic-oriented members of our coalition prefer to keep out techno-socialist flag, or keep our flag, whereas some socialists would prefer the red, white, and black mechanical glow, but with a red background. Then there is the torch and hammer endorsed by the Sims CSS chapters with all American stripes and stars surrounding the titular torch and hammer. Next is the old gears and grain, which was used in earlier AWP activity, depicting a red gear, with the red grain in the center and a black background. Finally, there is the socialist eagle, endorsed by national syndicalist intellectuals in the CSS, having a white American eagle with a red background on one side, and blue and white stripes on the other, all of which is divided by 50 stars. Then there are classic hammer and sword symbiolo symbiology used by some CSS chapters, one of which uses the white coloring and the others being called strength through socialism, which has a golden sword and hammer surrounded by white chain. What should we choose? These all sound really cool. Um, really, I'm with technocratic oriented members, the techno socialist flag, or, yeah, probably the techno socialist uh, flag, but techno socialism. What does that look like? Does it change anything? James? Does it change anything? Well. Oh well! <laughs> Experimental troops. A research propo proposition has put forward by the Armed Forces and Research Committees to experiment with heavy body armor and combat enhancing drugs in the hopes it will save the lives of troops or at least weaken enemy forces and soak up the resources to combat it. Hardliners, J. Lovestone and some impatient Armed Forces Research Directors support using the equipment on death row prisoners whom will be granted clemency if they survive in whatever war they serve in, already nicknaming them Iron Brigades. Meanwhile, most technocrats would prefer controlled experiments before using it for largely defense purposes. Shock troops, but only for violent death row in inmates. Shock troops, including as many prisoners as needed, which sounds like actually a lot more fun. I kind of like that idea, too. Uh, just run cautious experiments, but let's stick to traditional warfare. Let's go with shock troopers, but only for violent 
Death Row Inmates. The fate of Lindbergh, former American hero and car loyalist, Charles Lindbergh is currently our political prisoner and is fighting as a shock trooper. However, his handlers promised that he would make a strong candidate for rehabilitation and thinks it would be good for our boys on the ground if he was allowed to fly. Um, we have formed some political power, sure why not? Iron Brigade, I let him fly. The reaction. <clears throat> In the wake of a terrorist attack on the outskirts of Chicago, we have raided what appeared to be the bombed-out husk of a mansion near the city. After a trip that ruins that the ruins were actually a supply center for reactionaries, the authorities quickly sent men over to investigate. We found a lone man who we suspected was a former Republican Party state senator. He is believed to be the main culprit in the attack, and has quickly confessed to it, but insists that he is alone. A man of such high standing being involved in the attack surely means that he has accomplices. What should we do with him? Have the CSS investigate for accomplices? Make an example of disappears family. Crack down now. Let's, let's investigate for accomplices. Burn him to join Mount Rushmore? The Continental Socialist Society has put forward a proposal that states it is only proper that both an American patriot and founder of a new republic be given his place next to the original founding fathers of Mount Rushmore. This will make a potentially great monument that was originally created by reactionaries revolutionary in its value. The only question is where should he be placed? <clears throat> With Washington? Lincoln? Roosevelt? He's just silly. Use Haywood instead. That's just silly. Um... Uh, we could do... That's just silly. Yeah, let's just do that for now. The fort. Since the assassination attempt, the leaders made virtually no appearances to the point where the rumor was actually killed. However, James Burnham is very much alive, and with the CSS protecting him, they wonder if it is time to go to a more secure location and not leave it except through the most special circumstances, giving appearances exclusively through radio and TV, after all. The damage caused by the founder experiencing a premature death would be irreversible to a young republic. A simple solution would be locked down the White House, although some say the location is still too vulnerable and conspicuous. An interesting proposal was, was uh, <clears throat> to finish building Hearst Castle and move the president there. It would be not impossible to reach him, although moving into the former state of a capitalist would not make good for a good appearance. A colonel proposed building a series of bunkers near Boulder Dam, as finding him would be near impossible, although at the cost of being almost totally isolated from society. Finally, party member Ackerman proposed buying out the top 20 floors of the Empire State Building and keeping the founder in a penthouse there. <clears throat> Noting it would be making it impossible to reach him or know what floor he's on, while also staying near a central center of political power and reminding the citizenry of his presence. Locked on the White House. Oh man, this this sounds like this is part of the whole thing to get Lovestone here. <clears throat> so and we had to complete the focus, so yeah, I mean, we don't want him to die, so Boulder Dam is the most secure. <clears throat> Buy the top well, any flowers of the Empire State Building. Well, it sounds like someone will just blow up the building. I will not hide. Um, lock on the White House. Boulder Dam. He's probably gonna die. Um, we don't we don't want him to die, so it's most secure. Why not? We'll do that one. Sixteen hour work week. Howard Scott and other technocrats have proposed that with our economy having recovery, we should implement the 16-hour work week so that citizens may devote more time to communicate humanitarian communi pursuits. It can be organized in such a way that there's always a class of workers being productive for four hours a day, four hours a week, which they can boast about and would avoid the weekend effect and traditional economics. However, Jay Lovestone has suggested we basically keep it the same for the sake of accelerating socialism. Do it? A four-hour workday. Wow. That is... Wow. We're going to go with Lustone's recommendations. Also, um, ha I'll be honest, like with all of these events, I'm just kind of trying to push forward through things. So, at this point, because of all, there's so many events, I might as well just keep showing you guys what I'm doing right now. We're fighting the Middle East for the most part. Like, we're really trying to push through here as much as we possibly can, even though the supplies are pretty darn bad here. Uh, we'll see what happens. But, honestly, the Russians aren't doing that great. They've lost a lot of manpower. I, they've, they've mobilized a little bit more, but still. And George Link... George Lincoln Rockwell's Deb. A former member of the American Union State Cabinet, George Lincoln Rockwell was a prime candidate for the Iron Brigade program. After heavy re-education, Rockwell was outfitted with heavy armor and managed to rack up an impressive kill count of six before being killed himself by a tank shell in the mo our most recent war. We rec recovered his armor and his commanding officer praised him as a prime example of a former reactionary who managed to redeem himself. Perhaps after the war, we could build a statue of a soldier in full body armor as a monument to these fallen men. Reactionary lives don't matter. <laughs> yes, everyone can be redeemed. Um, sure, why not? Why, we could do that one for now. Reactionary lives don't matter. Oh my goodness. It really sucks fighting through here. Is it because of the state or what? No, it's because it's a desert probably. Bad upkeep, bad supplies, you know. The usual. Um, Supply-wise, local infrastructure is really bad. Supplies not very good in here. Uh, let's see, anything else we can do about Beirut perhaps? Maybe Beirut a little bit? Honestly, we're doing pretty darn well in terms of like infrastructure. So it's not that at all. Oh, you have one too many guys, huh? That sucks. There you go. 
Can you guys actually attack here, maybe? I know it's over a river for most of you guys, but still. You actually still might be able to take Mosul and get, might get some more supplies through here. The Russians, uh, they're doing okay. Not great, but not doing okay. Actually, attacking here would, be, would have been better, but whatever. Yeah, just slow attacks. I'm just waiting for more events to pop up. And we're still here in Greece. We invaded down here to revive war cynicalism. Well, Congress wanted to end the use of war cynicalism after the Second American Civil War. It represents an important policy against imperialism and national and free national unity. We should re-implement it at once with the goal of gradually building it into both our economy and public conscious to the point where it's not destabilizing but also revitalizing our country. Absurd. War cynicalism. We lose a lot of people. We lose a lot of stability and war support. Uh, I don't know. I think it's absurd for now. I, I don't like all those debuffs. Yes, we got Mozul. That's good, 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 good. Get that. And radar is looking okay-ish around here. Get some more plane or air bases. Our planes are doing so poorly. Like, they're, they're really bad right now. Yeah, we have a massive glut of, well, modern tanks that we need. Light tanks are doing okay, though. Yeah, we need more fighters, definitely. Any... Oh, tanks? Where are you guys at? Uh, we do want to go to war with these guys that we're trying to do as well. Um, anything else about events here? Because we still have a lot of focus to do. We're trying to free the new world so we get some more non-core manpower. So, we're trying the best we can here. Actually, this actually was pretty nice for us to get, actually. You guys can go all the way in there. Yeah. As long as we concentrate our attacks, we'll do okay here. We'll do fine there. We'll have to re the invade eventually up through here as well. Um, realistically, we have to invade there, there, probably. So, the PCC. Though, through our Iron Brigade program, we've discovered an experimental drug called... Fencycladin, developed from the earlier PCC, which it seems to make our soldiers far braver. We should make various strands of it standard within the Iron Brigade so they may further study it. Approved. Oh, they're actually taking us. Look at that. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Help them out. Hopefully you guys can all win here, but if not, then it's okay. Not really. No, you gotta win. You're forced to win. I'm forcing you to win. Um, yeah, I don't know. They might still not win there. Okay, maybe they did. Good. Go in. Yeah, the Russians are not looking very good at all. Uh, attacking the mountains is going to suck so hard. I'm just waiting for more events about the program that we currently have. Give us everything you got and die. Pretty much that's how it's going to work. And make sure that our guys actually have anti-air uh, support companies. Lindbergh redeemed. With his brave aerial exploits, there can be no question that Lindbergh is a loyal member of our order now. A book has recently been released on Lindbergh titled From Reactionary to Revolutionary by Savitri Divi, a French Australian, admirer of Indian national, Indian national leader Subhas Chandra Bose, and current historian of American managerialism. He can be a citizen now? Very good, but keep him fighting. He can, he's a uh, icon. Um, a couple comments included for us to try out in Kaiser Reich, going and trying to get doing Mosey and then do George Orwell. And then another comment was for us to play as the Commune of France and go down the Marshall route. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I plan on playing a lot of Kaiser Redux. It's just, I wonder how long my, I don't know, how long I can stand, like, lag and such, and late game lag and such, so. But hey, maybe, eventually, we will. We will. Just gotta get more time. That's always the biggest issue for me. Time, 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 time. There's never enough time. I guess we're probably going here, actually. Mountains, mountain fighting sucks, man. They attacked, okay, going. We're playing red. Wait, why'd that bypass? You wanna go that place, good head? Uh for you oh, that's why. Cool. I'm pretty sure I read through a lot of these. I want to get a lot of the, more of this ones these ones done. Especially the people sent it, but I've already read that one. So we'll get this one done now so we can at least get this started. So we can get a certain dude into power very soon. Cool. Go in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You should be able to win, but we'll see what happens. And grab some more anti-tank and piercing power. Uh you might want to help out here as well. You guys can both come into here right now, actually. Be super nice. Wait, who's moving in there? Wait, what? Flamethrowers. Amongst many of the weapons being developed by the M1 flamethrower, nicknamed by some a Liberty Lighter, due to the ch danger involved with these prototypes, perhaps we could speed up the process and spare the lives of good men by sending these weapons to our experimental troops. We get even more supply consumption, which actually isn't very good, but whatever. We'll try it anyways. Nice. Are these guys really not trying? I, doing a general attack would just be way too costly. It really would be, at least in my opinion. But I kind of want to do it anyways. Let's try it. Can we actually do... Uh, we're not going to win up here. Oh, maybe up there, maybe. Oh, we'll see what happens. Oh, we'll see what happens, yeah. Other than that, we're doing quite well. Um, You guys are over here. Oh, that's literally your entire army. Oh, that's not good. Um, Anything over here that's special? No, not really. Military police are nice. Do we have uh, yeah, animals that eat carrots? That's good. 
throw this on there as well, because we have more than enough of that. And as for our garrison troops, keep doing that, that's fine. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot better than I thought we would be doing down here. Um, where are the tankies? How much longer do we have to wait for these guys? Advanced capital gunnery? And we'll go to war with these guys very soon, which will be very nice. Alright. Modern naval guns, that'll be good. Actually, how's the navy looking? It's probably promoted, very nice. Uh, it's almost ready for another task force, which is really good. Oh, Bulgarian ships are very nice to have. I know, I know I said I wanted to skip around a little bit more, but at this point, it's not like we, we really can't... Like I said, I'm just waiting for more events. Oh, do we get a lap? Oh, nice! I can't believe we're actually pushing through these guys. Oh, hello. Uh, casualties and losses. Um, we've lost 1.1 million, but that's fine for us. Oh, look at that. Because of the last focus, we were mobilizing a little bit more as well, which is very good. Uh, German Republic lost 3 million, 1.6 basically. Russia. Um, Italy's lost, yeah, 1.6. Where is... 4 million. Russia is not doing great right now, as you can see. No. Serves by requirement. Well, no wonder they can't do too much against us. That's kind of nice. They have up to 87 infantry divisions. That's pretty good. Oh, not bad. I mean, this is going a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, I guess it does suck fighting in the desert, so a lot of equipment just gets destroyed anyways, but still. That's actually very good for us. Because, actually, can we push through here, too? Probably not. That's a lot of guys there. Oh, what are they doing around here? Oh, they must be escorting stuff. And just our planes bombing ships, so. Nice. I guess I'll show you our war going into Africa as well. Okay, so we need some other guy around here, too, but... Where, where is everyone? Oh, we still want to go to war with Columbia as well. We just want to go to war with a lot of people, man. And they're still attacking us, which is fine. Oh, look at that shore bombardment, too. They do have air superiority, which kind of sucks, but we do have an intel advantage, which is super helpful. Hey, there you go. Nice. South America needs to go. And... Is it this guy? Yeah. Just go ahead and get rid of them. I literally don't care. And Burundi, we gotta get rid of as well. A lot of things are happening down here. Oh, they're trying to shoot down our planes. Oh, that's not... Or sink our ships. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> um, anything else here? Not really. No, that kind of sucks. To be honest, that kind of really sucks. Oh, you guys. Ah, uh, screw it. Just go high. Hop out here. And as you see, we did take Malta. Actually, very nice. Advanced landing craft will be good. We got all that stuff over there too. Let's grab some or better torpedoes or torpe less torpedo reveal chance. That's very good. Yeah, we're doing so much better than I thought we would actually over here. A lot better than I thought we would. More. Wow, we get more factories too. All right. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. Um, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. If you guys could help out too, that'd be fine with me. I thought we'd go to war with Cameroon, so you guys are not doing anything just yet. Supplies are probably really extraordinarily bad, so actually I'm going to move you guys up here, because we're going to need some guys to really fight through this area, but not over there. These have... Well, Turkey really sucks to fight in, but getting the tanks here-ish would probably be a good thing. Oh crap. Burundi as well. Well, that sucks. And eh, no matter. We'll get these guys done. There's only 20 guys down here, though. Cool. All or nothing armor cruiser scheme. Great, great, great. And let's finish this side off with chemical warfare. Uh, maybe not. I don't want to hurt our supply consumption just yet. Let's come back over here. And like I said, we're going to do international collaboration. So we're going to do that again. Please go right ahead. And now we should get events talking about a potential coup against us. Which is obviously not very good. Sure, why not? Booby traps? The enemy deemed determined to get their hands on our technology via our dead troops. A recent proposal was put forward by the Committee for War to begin using booby traps on the dead during retreats to both slow the enemy and partially destroy the tech before it falls in enemy hands. That's disrespectful to the Fallen. Sounds quite practical. Um, I don't know why supply consumption hurts us even more. But I guess we're going all the way with this stuff. We have to be practical here. Oh, I guess you don't really have orders. Oh, my bad. Oh, they're going through here too. That sucks. Uh, are you guys leaving? Uh, head on over here first. We need you guys to go all the way in. Katine, hopefully it'll become like a jungle rat or something. That'd be kind of nice, actually. Alright, we're still doing okay-ish around here. Still doing okay-ish. There's just a lot of losses. Oh, well, it is what it is. Are you actually losing over here? Hold on. Good. And... Good. 
That'd be nice. Keep going, because a lot of the sector over here is not really well defended. We'll have to split up one of these armies as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Surprised they're not attacking us as well, which is weird, but whatever. I'd love to go up through here as well. I wonder if we just leave... Um, there you go. Uh, Maurice Rose. That's fine. There you go. And go into here. If you guys could do that, that'd be great. And let them start just attacking you like crazy. Let's see what about that. Doing okay. Not doing great over here. How are you guys doing down here? Well, you're trying to get to the line. So, that's something. These guys will win over here. They crush these guys through here. Um, this is all part of the Entente, right? Uh, Burundi touches the Entente, which means we've got to go all the way down through here. Oh my goodness. We need more soldiers. Any more ships sunk, though. Anything else about events, maybe? Okay, so for this one, for the Love Stone, it's after a year. Uh, uh, an event will fire about Love Stone. Choose not to increase surveillance. No more surveillance against them. Cool. Um, nah, we're okay for now. We're still, yep, that's what I wanted to see. That's very good. Over here, we're still doing okay. You guys, oh, Polish Operative found. Very good, very good. Oh, you got cut off. That sucks, man. That sucks. Force the attack, so make sure you can actually break through there. You guys go in. We're not going to wait around for these guys. There's no way we're going to wait around. You guys just keep on going in. Africa is a mess. Go to Mombasa. You keep, eh, I guess you can capitulate them by doing that, but you should be okay. Anything there? Nope. Anything there? Nope. Nope. And the five division should be able to go now, right? Yes, you should. Modern naval guns are nice. We'll deal with that in just a little bit. All right, not bad. Cagliari. And have we invaded? Hopefully, hopefully, yes. Cool. Good job, guys. Go all the way up. And do the dirty deed. Hopefully, I don't have to really keep an eye on them. All right, so now these attacks seem really bad. So go hold. Everyone hold. Reinforce the line. Just hold. As we will build up the infrastructure here by quite a bit, because we definitely could use it. And do this too. Bing, bong, boom, boom. Uh, get some radar too. And air stations. There we go. Just in case. Just in case. Take that. These are still going to attack. I will move those guys around if we need to. Um, not bad. They have a lot of destroyers and such. Hey! So I'm going to have been sunk. Good. So attacking, which is fine. Yeah, this is a giant mess. But if we don't have anything else about, like, the soldiers, I'm going to keep doing this off screen so we can keep moving on in the campaign. CSS Report, Jay Lovestone. Jay Lovestone is a leading member of the leftist faction of AWP, holding the loyalty of union leaders such as Charles Zimmerman and chunks of our most orthodox Marxist military forces who now have nowhere left to go. While reliable means of securing our leftist base and union support, it is little secret that Lovestone is highly ambitious. A uh, view, Lawrence Dennis's most recent report only reinforces. According to Dennis, Lovestone has been meeting with more military officials in recent days, and even set up a private meeting with Earl Browder, which is clearly supposed to be a secret from us. While perhaps nothing to worry about is Lovestone may simply be playing games until against his new rival Howard Scott or otherwise securing his position. Dennis requests that we double down on aggressive espionage against Lovestone, though this carries the risk of turning on uh, turning him against us if discovered. Increase our surveillance? Nah, we're okay. We're okay, right? He totally want to do anything, and they're definitely attacking us like crazy. Um, I, I kind of doubt we could attack through here, but we could try it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty darn bad, I'll be honest. Like, this mountain fighting really sucks. It really sucks, or he knows. And if we're going to lose, probably. Yep, cold. Alright. Um, yeah, the Greeks... Yeah, fighting through these mounts pretty sucky right now. Pretty darn sucky. Um, there's really not much... Um, as you can see, they start attacking again. And hopefully we might get... Oh, good. How, how long will it take? How long will it take? Also, Africa's looking pretty good as well. Uh, fire by the stone. She's going to increase defense. And eventually we'll cool. Cool! Awesome. Alright, they did attack. So, does that mean we can counterattack now? Eh, it's not great. Yeah, it's not great. Go and hold for now, because they're going to keep attacking and counterattacking. Um, off screen, I'm probably just going to have to re naval invade some other places. Maybe over here, perhaps. Maybe take Corfu. Um, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Look at that mess. And do we have any more carriers? Come on. I just hopefully, I'm just hoping. Oh, go to war with, uh, North, war, North Rhodesia. Hoping that we get the coup on screen as well. So, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's come down here. And I just want to get rid of Africa. Get rid of the Africans, man. Especially Hans Hutig, Mr. Haircut Man. Go on in, that's fine. Get rid of all these parts just so that we can get this stuff done. How are we not at war with these guys? I don't understand. We should do fine here. I'm not really too worried about this group here. Uh, sure, that's fine. I don't really care. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, they're just attacking like crazy. 
Which is good for us. I mean, we can't really push through here. I mean, supply-wise, probably really bad, but still. Oh, especially here. Oh, my goodness. So bad. Yeah, we need more uh, infrastructure there. Oh, we got more stuff down here. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. And I've been trying to make a lot more planes, and actually, we actually have a surplus of planes, which is kind of surprising. But it's actually very nice to have. All right, more naval bombers could be very nice to have. I've sunk a lot of enemy ships off screen as well, just because, well, they put themselves out there, so we might as well sink them. Uh, fighters. There you go. One, two, and then go right there. Because really, the battle in Turkey needs a lot of fighters. Yes, they just need so many fighters. It's not even funny, man. It's not even funny. Casualties, I mean, five and a half million. We've lost two million so far. Italians have lost millions of men as well. 2.4. Not bad, not great, but really... We're doing the best we can right now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to re-enable some areas. Oh, I'll go do that. Work with the British Allies would be pretty nice. All states currently owned are also controlled. American advisors? Oh, we should probably do that eventually. That's not too bad over there. And make sure we continue doing this stuff, because I forgot about this stuff. Okay, wait. Brazil Red. Which we might eventually. We'll see what happens. Um... The inevitability of world socialism. The workers of the world shall unite. We have fought long and hard for a better future, and now it seems inevitable that we will succeed. Let us proceed with greater enthusiasm than ever before, and free men and women of every corner of the world. Through freedom, the freedom we speak of is different than envisioned by our founders. Our vision is one of true freedom, not just for our own people, but for all people. Very good. And James Burnham's dead. Oh, no. Shocking news to reach the nation today is James Burnham's been found dead by gunshot with nothing but a short note to be found to imply it was a suicide. However, a number or number of CSS officials have been arrested as it is alleged that the suicide was staged or that he did it in the midst of an attempted coup against him. As both Jay Lovestone and assorted military officials report receiving reports uh, from CSS officers that a renegade faction of the CSS is responsible for these events. With the military agreeing to have Lovestone take charge of stand in prison until the crisis can be resolved, with Lovestone's first act being called to call for a day of mourning for the death of America's most recent founding father. A tragedy. A trade union boss. Oh no, what happened? Oh, we don't even change the flag. Hey, I don't even, I didn't even know what he looked like. That's kinda cool. Well, welcome aboard, Lovestone. Welcome aboard. And they're still attacking like crazy. Which makes sense. Actually, how much, how much manpower does the Turkey have left? Oh, that's not a bunch. I mean, these guys are mobilizing more, so they're all those serve, so. I just want to see the next event, and then we'll, I'll probably just play a lot more off screen. To keep pushing us through here. Um, the inevitably world social some or we'll continue reading focuses for right now, since it's, they're just attacking us and we gotta do some stuff off screen as well. And Japanese imperialism. Japan is a menace to our fellow re revolutionaries in Asia. Their recent imperialism cannot be tolerated if we claim to represent freedom in the world, even so, or worse. They have brazenly decided to endanger our own interests in the Pacific, and now some of our old allies look to them for leadership instead of us. Uh, with the death of the founder, Lawrence Dennis has been removed as head of the CSS until the controversy of the CSSS. Internal traitors can be resolved with the CSS being controlled by the Red Army in the meantime. Our military advisors advise us to have him voluntarily retire, but we could also simply pin the entire plot on him. Also we'll cause a larger purge to occur in the CSS, it allows us to centralize more power. Oh, why not? And the German Eagle. The mighty German Eagle stands at the top of the world order, but if we have something to say about it. That won't be the case for very long. We should take our rightful place as a global hegemon, one that fights for freedom and equality rather than for resources or domination. Let's take our own shot at this German menace and see if they might resist our might. Say the Russian Revolution. Though the Russian Revolution seemed promising at first, it was ended by German and Austrian ventures or vultures. Now the few revolutionaries who remain are being hunted down. We can allow this to continue onwards to Moscow. Ah, Hans Hutig, goodbye. Oh, actually, you guys didn't... Okay, I'll do that first. Thank you very much. I'm doing this all in the name of reducing lag. Go ahead when you can. And actually, the tanks up here. Oh, the tanks are still down here, huh? Um, I would love to send them up here, but just... Yeah, I'm going to send you guys up here. They're going to have to really naval invade another part of uh, Italy. So, that's fine. And the west wind goes east. Japan is not the only country in Asia that resists the revolution. What are the smaller nations who mistreats their people and the peoples of other nations, just as the Japanese have? We cannot let them get away with this behavior. We should intervene to break the chains for all the people of Asia. Liberate the Balkans. The grotesque state that is referred to as the Austrian Empire must end for centuries. They have oppressed the various minorities of the Balkans, and they must be stopped. As the various peoples of that region seem to be trouble have trouble breaking away on their own, let us intervene to give them a helpful push. And a world without chains. Our isolated position in the world makes it unlikely that we'll ever be invaded, however, with the right investments. It would be possible for us to invade any region on the planet. Now that we've already liberated so many, we should finish a job and once for all, bring the revolution to the world. Cool. And right now we're doing a trying to establish a collaboration government in Greece. So this way we can capitulate them even faster. That's just my goal right now. So we can capitulate them even faster. Because we took Athens even though Constantinople is the capital. What the heck happened here? I guess we got navally invaded maybe? Huh. That sucks. Um, any other way we can build up more roads? Probably not. Uh, well, it is what it is. They're still attacking. They're still attacking. Get the tanks up here so we can invade up here as well. 
And these guys are still attacking like crazy too, so. Uh, any upgrades for our guys? Probably not. Oh, maybe? Yes? No? Improvisation expert? Yes, please? And until we have another uh, thing to talk about, I guess I'll continue playing off screen. The final revolution. Jay Lovestone has finally come to power even after the decades of hurdles thrown at him. At long last, an ultimate victory for the world of socialism shall be implemented under the Lovestoneites after the final enemies of the new regime are disposed of, especially Burnham's former rightist allies, and the military and propaganda orders. Pretty good. And red patronage, which we'll read. We dispose of our most overt enemies, but that doesn't mean we don't need to shore up support amongst our allies. Red patronage will reward those union leaders, military loyalists, and other prominent allies using our newfound influence while filing in recently op new opened positions. Rightist opposition purged. Our AWP rightist opponents and the various state divisions and military are currently being arrested for either collaboration with the plot against Burnham or for other treachery, particularly the most nationalistic and technocratic members of the CSS, military or managerial class. Many of Howard Scott's associates in particular are currently being investigated, and some of our military supporters, such as John Tisa, urges to arrest Scott himself and finish purging his inner circle, although this would leave our technocratic commission somewhat understaffed until we can reassert our total control over them at a later date. Finish off Scott. Cool. Leave him be. Oh, that one. Cool. Cool. So right now, um, as you can see, we've done actually really well. Uh, yeah, once I, I started invading Albania, and it actually helps if the Union Britain is actually putting soldiers... Where, where'd they go? Um, as you can see, that yeah, the Union Britain has been moving east, but they helped invade France. Thank God, because they just—they were just sitting there for a long for a long time. They just were sitting there under Bar Barba Castle. Uh, they got some manpower. They're only on volunteer only. What the heck? 130 divisions, and they were just sitting there for the most of the time with almost 500 ships. But eventually, they invaded France. Thank God, and that kind of actually helped us push through all of this area. Um, cool casualties. I guess Roger 30. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Well, we killed off a lot of the enemies already. Like the Russians, have a bunch. I mean, we've killed off. Uh, about 23 million. About 23 million, so that's not too bad. We've taken 3.61 million on screen, about 7 million. And we also joined the Entente, so it is what it is, but still. Still. This, this is a lot of dead. And uh, as you can tell from the title, I kind of want to finish this campaign just because this is. This part of the campaign is. I wouldn't say the most fun part of the campaign. <laughs> but. Chemical Warfare, the Red Patronage, which we'll read very soon. I do want to get through all this stuff eventually, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll probably read about Love Stone Circles. Uh, the, among the very top of the socialist managers, Love Stoneite advocates and party officials are their increasing numbers of Love Stone Circles. Dedicated to reading and interpreting Love Stone's theories while also helping coordinate between them. His desires. Love, uh, Love Stone's inner circle and practical policy. Let's officially recognize and regionally designate existing clubs while creating new ones where needed. Cool. Love Stone, Love Stone, Love Stone. Yeah, as you can see, we're just, just chucking ourselves ahead. We're just going, 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 going. Uh, we're doing actually really well against Russia here, so... And we're still trying to finish up, um... Well, I guess... Africa. Oh, uh, my goodness. This... Okay, so at the time of this recording, my keyboard's not working for some reason. Um, I'm pressing Enter. Even though I can move around using my arrow keys. Um, Enter's not working for some reason, which is happens when you fade and fade out a whole bunch. But I guess Cameroon's next. I don't know why, just taking out Africa is always nice. Maybe I'm too much of an imperialist, but... Yeah, that's pretty much where we're at, and I'll see you right before we capitulate the Entente, because Raj is considered a major power, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Managers outraged. Many of our managers are outraged at the recent social demotion of being considered workers with only a handful of extra benefits, but their wages fallen considerably since. A petition has been signed and delivered by California managerialists demanding we reinstate many of their former material benefits. Even if they're now considered workers as well, although if we follow through, we need to extend it to managerial workers throughout their nation, which should be done. Purge them? Applied to them. I kind of like the purging. Cool. And as you can see, we've I've got, already gone through a lot of the stuff already here. And here are the casualties so far. Now we've killed up to 34 million. We've lost about 10 million on our side in total. I guess France is completely dead, but you know, it is okay. It is what it is. Um, we've got some comments, or some comments, some uh, focus we need to talk about as well. So, we did this one, this one. I think we read about this one as well, but technocratic subjugation. The technocrats have lost their battle for the hearts of the American Workers' Party, and as such, it is time to remind them of other place while making use of their organization. Howard Scott's allies will have to answer to Lovestone's appointed Marxist economists and union leaders who will organize and evaluate all workers using strictly this labor value theory, and all technocrats will have to make a similar shift if they want to stay relevant. I should lose some research, huh? A CSS radicalization campaign. The CSS is still a hotbed for hardline Burnhamists, whose loyalties are shaky towards Lovestoneite thought. Political commissars reading lists and internal purges will shift their organization to the left and have them do their part in weeding out reactions in the population while remaining loyal to us. And also, we're going to go to War Switzerland just because we can. Um, are we down here? Right? Are we here? Oh, yeah, we're not ready to go. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Let's have a good old time, sure. And we'll go to War Denmark as well, but we'll see what happens when we get there. 
and addition, we did class fusionism. Burnham's means of organizing the new America has had, has had its place, but it's now time to shift towards proletarianism, for the good of socialism. As such, most of those who were designed or designated with the managerial and higher working classes will have their official designation merged with the working classes, and have their benefits more evenly distributed amongst the populace. Cool. And we'll do experimental age. With the, while the research bureaus run by our socialistic technocrats, and the military have promising results so far, they still have not gone far enough. More class enemies will be used for not just testing military goods, but to improve the lives of our citizens, while industrial technological advances will be invested in. For experimental age, very nice. The Switzerland fell pretty darn quickly. I'll take out these guys too, but we're going to need some time to actually get rid of them. But these guys next. And if you take a look at Sweden, it looks like these guys have already invaded, which is pretty cool. Pretty darn good. Oh! Okay, sure, why not? We'll, we'll annex the Swiss. I've actually annexed all the German states that we already took out, so the Hanover states. Hanover states, Hanover. Um, rural industrialization. I'm just going to read through most of these anyways right now, so it'll be fun. We did that one. Uh, new economic planning. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we might as well read about that one. New economic planning will see to it that technocrats still manage a larger economy while allowing small-scale businesses and individuals to trade monetarily with each other whilst all making the, making the profit motive a larger goal even amongst the state-owned industries, inducing more trade with other nations when needed. Of course, the cut of all such trades will go back to the party, which isn't too bad. Could be better, but not too bad. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And Switzerland? Alright, thank you very much. As you see, we only have 48% support. Um, Do that one. Cool. That's fine, I don't really care. Oh, uh, yes, please, yes, please, it doesn't even matter. And then socialism first. Burnham was a great man, but he strayed too far from the ideas of class struggle and Marx in favor of nationalism and technocracy. This reaffirmed class solidarity, class struggle, and socialism as the first principles in party propaganda structure. And permanent revolution. The revolution cannot end, end where it is stagnating, or stagnation is inevitable. We must push for revolutions in other nations using our military might and invest in militarization to reflect this desire, while promoting ma ma martial values not just amongst the military, but the national proletariat. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Keep pushing for that as well. And then, counter-revolutionary surveillance. New leadership will always coincide with new op opponents, and if we are to stabilize the regime, monitoring will be needed. And as such, the, N the CSS will be granted new techniques and equipment to weed out opponents of the regime alongside offering more rewards to class loyalists. Report on those skeptical of our progressive shifting. I think it's time for us to go ahead and move on in. I think we should have enough ability to wipe out the Russians in this last attack. It's going to be very costly, but at this point, I just can't see the Russians doing much else here. But yeah, they got a lot of manpower still. But just because they have a lot of manpower doesn't mean you're very strong. And honestly, they've lost so many allies. And while air isn't super great right here right now, we'll make it better. We will. I, I just don't think they can keep it up. Um, we, we lost a lot of guys. Look at that. We lost almost 7 million. Like, that's ridiculous, but still. Oh, well. Uh, since we're here anyways, we'll read a few more focuses too, because we can. You guys come over here. And you guys come over here, too. There you go. See what you can do. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. The Raj is very strong still. I think they made a lot more divisions since we last worked together, but... Gamma Expansion. Whether at reaffirmation of socialism or the technocratic and nationalist tendencies of the AWF, or AWP, a new class enemies have been created. Whether made up of lumpen proletariat criminals, petite bourgeoisie complainers, or tra class traders, those who damage a republic will be placed with within the Gamma class, the expansion of which will allow for more projects. Cool. There's some stability, but whatever. And all to the director. The place of uh, the director of our socialist union, Jay Lovestone, is of our foremost importance in maintaining the integrity of the revolution. Let us finish centralizing and monitoring the technocrats, Lovestone circles, military, and CSS to directly answer to the director, and see to it he gets a cut of their gains to put forward any two new any projects. Let's do experimental agent next. Very good. Very, very wild type of campaign, but we'll be doing fine. American exceptionalism. While we need to shift the AWP to more to the left, let us still reaffirm America's unique place as the industrial and military vanguard of the revolution that should be respected by even other socialist nations and reinvested in accordingly. This will maintain the more practical nationalist parts of the rightist AWP tendencies. As you can see, we're trying to fish up all this research. It's already 49. Wow, it's already 49. Mass extraction. Well, with the Gamma class now incorporated, a larger chunk of reactionaries, we can finally begin to mass extract resources that were formerly neglected and be put forward to the international revolution with them at our disposal. Victory is inevitable. Very good. All right, everyone. So my apologies. I was going to show you like the right before we capitulated Russia, but they capitulated actually pretty darn quickly because um, I did prepare a collaboration government. So... Actually, yeah. So, as you see, this is basically where we left off of where our divisions are actually at. They're all scattered around here. There's a big old line. It really does help when you prepare a collaboration government. It really, really does. So, uh, in the meantime, let's capitulate the Raj. And that should be the last thing we need to do here. Um, let's take a look. So, as you see here, 17 million. We've lost about 2 million. That's not too bad overall. I mean, I think we've done pretty darn well for ourselves. 
Um, Raja Authority is up to 69 divisions. They have more divisions now than they did earlier, but we'll see what happens. Of course, we have to fight through Afghanistani, which is going to El Sako Sako. But it is what it is. Throw some planes down here as well, because we need some air bases real quick, like, and throw some radar, because I love radar. Uh, this stuff up here doesn't really matter. Afghanistan needs to die, as well as Zaraj. If that is the case, I'm going to take you guys, because we took out the Swedish already, which has very, been very, very nice. Um, yeah, and actually, I took over pretty much all the territories that we just won from the Russians and their allies. So, ooh, it's not part of the fleet. Pretty good. And I, and I really don't care. Just do all the stuff. World Revolution, right? So, basically, we need to take everyone. Destruction of Johor, Singapore Railway. Return the Don lands. Um, return the Ukrainian lands. Ah, uh, since they exist, that's fine. Yes, we're going to return all the lands to them. Don Kuban, yes, for now, just because I don't want to deal with that resistance and such. That's a lot of lag. Wow. Uh, fate of Russia. Only, uh, after a long fight with the Russian state, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands and the fate of the Russian nation with it. I think in the end, we killed off like at least 20 million Russians. So basically, it's basically World War II. Yeah, we killed off like 20 million of them, like 20, 22 million, something like that. It was absolutely insane. Um how many we cut off also the game is lagging extremely hard right now like it's lagging super super hard so if i touch it it might just crash which is which wouldn't be good and then i have to reload this but whatever uh, as you can see i have liberty stuff oh my gosh it did give him all that stuff uh, that looks really bad really liberate oh uh no I'll just take them all uzbekistan just take them all azerbaijan fate of georgia ah the transport case in the social republic would be actually too bad uh, i don't i don't want lag so i don't care Anatolia, Yemen, Malaysia, Indochina, France. They did capitulate, so liberate the commune. Nah, we're okay. Fate of Elish Orda. Nope. Nope. Alright, military occupation. That's like so bad. Why did they take so many states and not all of them? I don't understand. And now we have minus 32% stability. Pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. Huh. Um, you guys go right on ahead. If you can, please just get rid of these guys. Please, 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 please. Oh, we still haven't finished this stuff. Is it? Okay, well, now that's all done. Let's head on into Afghanistan, because we love Afghanistan here. We are one with the Afghan people, right? All right, all right, all right. Head on down here as well. Madras. This is the last nation we should need to capitulate, because the other authorities, the Australasians, really just kind of went kaboom, so. All right, not bad. Even a little bit more lag, which isn't very good, but whatever. And we've pretty much got all this done. It's almost 1950. It's roughly 1950 right now, so... Get that done. Thank you very much. Get that one done as well. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else here? No, there's not. Anything over here? No, there's not. Anything over here? Nope. And I some plain stuff. Carrier cast? Why not? Because we can. Carrier cast? Because we can? Why not? Because we can. Modern oil processing? Let's get some fuel refining for. And, yeah, I think I don't think Afghanistan will really be able to hold up. We're making a lot of stuff here. There you go. Auto save. Thank you. We do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and really warm as we're descending into the... Afghan territories. And we have the biggest fleet in the entire world. Like, no one can match us. How many ships we got? Socialism first, of course. We only have a total of nine fleets. Really, really eight fleets, but whatever. That's fine. Almost 300 destroyers in ourselves, in of itself, and do kind of revolutionary surveillance. Oh, there goes Finland too. Ah, uh, Finland. And I think I gave these guys to someone else. I can't remember. Alright, well, that's okay. Return to Swedish lines. That's fine to us. Yes. And, ah, these guys. Don't even bother with us. Nope. Ooh, Kuban would be nice, but no. So where is that one? No. Nope, okay, it's not going to tell us. Yeah, I don't even care. I just want to reduce lag. That's actually not too bad. The Don Socialist Republic, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Who needs stability? We don't. We don't believe in stability. What is this? Oh, the Greeks are still down here. Oh, wow, that's a big old fleet. Oh, I guess I forgot about Crete. But at this point in the campaign, I don't really care about taking out Crete, I'll be honest. Kraft von Demensingen. They're lucky we're not going to go to war with them right now. Oh, can we still do this? I thought I clicked on the other thing. I guess we could take out Croatia as well, but I don't really feel like it, I'll be honest. So, it it is what it is. If anything, they'd be forced to be subjugated to our rule, so, yeah. Anything else? Finland, Estonia, yes. Military occupation, yes, yes, yes. Ah, not too bad, not too bad. Kind of, kind of, actually really ugly through here, but whatever. We could set up another naval invasion, but whatever. Ah, uh, Sweden, the Swedish colony probably liberated by the UK. Or the Union I should really say. Cool. Not too bad, a pretty good campaign. I spent, I spent like, like three or four hours on 
this little episode itself, which I usually don't like doing just because I've got so many other things I've got to do during the day, but oh well. Uh, but I guess I'll ask you for likes for that. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we must have hit the ticker. The little tick that uh, tells you, oh, we hit, we went over our limit. Let's lower that again. Afghanistan's gone. Thank God. All right. Let's see. So if we hit, yep, oh, yep, we definitely went over the tick. I apologize for the clicking. And just make sure that we don't go over the tick again. Twenty-three thousand. Actually, can we go by sort by stored? No, we cannot. That sucks. I don't know why that's not in the game. That'd be actually really nice. If we take the top amount of guns that we've actually had. Oh man. Oh, because we capitulated them. Oh god, look at that. It went back up to green. Wow. I know we just got some research done as well. My goodness. Holy crap. That should help us out. No, we're making. Oh, screw it. Just keep making. It. I don't care. Just keep making it then. Whatever. Carrier cast two. Let's grab some heavy fighters as well. Carrier cast three. Grab some dominators. Grab some of this one. Permanent revolution. Thank you. Grab some what next? B fifty one flashes. Cool, cool, cool. And I did nuke quite the, the enemies quite a bit already, so. That's why we don't have a lot of nukes, because they've been sent other directions. Guided missiles, cool. I'm going to be able to nuke the Raj at all. Oh my goodness, they're going to have a lot of guys here. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, we're going to have to navel invade, aren't we? That's going to suck. Get these guys going here. Oh, that's really going to suck. Alright, so let's guess. Whatever. I'll take you guys. Come with me. You guys up here doing what? Hanging out? That's fine. I don't care. Um, Come from here. Karachi. Come from Karachi again. Go down to Alamabad. Or however you pronounce that. Ooh. What's it for here anyways? They go from here. At least one of these guys has got to make it over there, right? Bing, bong, boom. Cool. And since we don't need the northern areas anymore, really. Send you guys into there. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's more than enough carriers. Cool. Bing, bong, bong, ding, dong. Bong, bing, bong. That's all you need. Completely surrounding them. Agent captured. Oh, boy, that is not ideal. Please, let's get the captured operative. Thank you very much. Uh, resume missions. There you go. And... Go. Good luck. Delhi. Very good, very good. Improved equipment conversion. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be so bad trying to get in here. This sucks so hard. Why? Why? I hate fighting into India. Jesus Christ, this is going to suck so much. I might just use console commands and eat them up like that. That might literally be the best way to do it. This is stupid. Late game Hoi 4 is just one of the worst things I hate. But hey, look. Sinking a lot of the ships, that's good. Sink a lot of the planes too, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More tanks would be very nice. Alright. Oh, do you actually have any up more upgrades? No? You're a ranger. That's wow. That's a lot of things happening here. We sunk. Okay. We lost the destroyer, which sucks, but whatever. This is a lot of things going on here. Cool. Um anyone else here? Major power? Port oh. Well, the Portuguese died. Cool. Nice. Keep thinking everything they got. And Gamma expansion. I'm not going to take out the Australians. Um, if they're a major power, I'm just going to straight up annex them. So, at this point, I don't really care. Jesus Christ. There's so much over here. There's so much. It's making the game just lag. It could crash. It's a little lag, but probably not, but you never know. Um, brute anti. Did we get that? Wow, that was fast. Yeah, we definitely have to nail invade. This sucks. But our guys are technically already over here, so that's not too bad. If that's a case. Go ahead and just make some more dockyards around here. There you go. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of dockyards. Cool. Any more ships? Oh my goodness, yes. Hey, 11 more died. Nice. Take you guys off. Do that. And when you have too many divisions, just go. Goodbye. And goodbye. 
Oops, wrong group. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're out of space anyways. Go in, go in, go in. See what you can do. I need you guys to go in immediately. Force the attack if you have to. I don't care. Land. Oh, we got Karachi. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Go in. Can you actually... Yeah, you actually can build all that stuff up. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Cool. Invade and spread out immediately. Take everything you can from them. So I said go. I said for the love of God, go, 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 go. Oh, what happened over here? Convoys, huh? It's all right. It's all right. You guys get over here too, please. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get in. Get in. Get in. You're diverting soldiers away from the front, which is good, but still. Good, good, good. Okay, so at this point, all of you guys come here. Solid front line it, and go. Where are you guys at? You still gotta move all the way through there. God dang it, that sucks. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I hope. What are you guys doing? You guys are doing literally nothing. So, you guys head over to here as well. See what you can do. I think we move fast enough, they won't be able to do anything. God dang it. Oh my god, I hate fighting this area so much. And they have air superiority because there's like no planes around here too. Do we have any... We definitely do not. Um, we need 20. Okay, interesting. 20. I didn't know I put some up here. I put some up here as well. There you go. That should help out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Nice. Gam expansion. Look how laggy it is. Even in 1950, it's incredibly laggy. Even after I've annexed everybody. And all of the director. Good. We could definitely use more stability. Alright, are the guys showing up yet? Just you guys for now. It's fine. Oh, we are pushing down a little bit. The tanks are definitely struggling through here, but it makes sense. I wish the Don Socialist Republic would give me the territory I deserve. Seriously, give me the territory I deserve. Keep going. Kill them all. Kill them all. They've only lost. Agent injured. That sucks. Uh, 5.8 million. Are they still trying to invade us? Northern India, no. Alright. Alright, we're done with that page two. Oh, plane time. Cool. And the tank time. Alright, you guys are getting close, which is good. Very, very good. Ooh, look at that, yes. Alright, prepare collaboration government. I think we'll be able to kill them off. That's interesting. Um, before they actually do die, but we'll see. That's actually extremely helpful. Getting that stuff done. Oh my goodness, so helpful. Stratajets, cool. Where are you guys at? You're still attacking, you're still attacking, you're fine, you're fine. One solid front line, go. Nice. Keep sinking, keep sinking. Make sure these guys do not become a major power. Alright, tank time. Unfortunately, it's the tank time. There's no way they can hold out with us all just screaming into here. Right? We get so many more ports. So much more... Oh, look at that. That's again out too. Nice. Very good. Balukistan. Keep going, keep going. Oh, well, you're not even going. Now you can go. Now it's not too bad, yeah. Oh, uh, I hate fighting India. This is probably one of the last times for a while that I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to do like a pretty global conquest. Obviously I'm not taking Japan. I don't I don't want to fight Japan at all. But uh yeah, it's one of the Rare times, I'm going to do it right now. And it helps us get through this focus tree as well. To fully explore the entire thing in its entirety. Navy New Age. Oh, there's that one again. We don't really need to do that one, though. Uh, mass extraction, why not? We lose a little bit of manpower, but at this point, 1.54 million is not too bad. We are on service by requirement, and we have the Rebel Girl, but still. Martin Flash, not bad. Oh, this coffee's still pretty hot. During some of the hottest months of the year. Well, he's definitely level 8. Look at that. Almost a, almost an infantry leader. Almost. And almost a trickster as well. Huh. 
Are they? They're not even close to capitulating. Six point four eight million. Fifty-seven divisions. Yeah, they lost a lot to the Union of Britain's Navy or something like that. Or us too. Yeah. But mm. oh yeah, we just overran some over there. Nice. I don't think they were expecting a naval attack or a naval invasion, really. Nice. You're gonna keep going. You will not stop until they die, because they're literally encircled up there. So I don't care for those divisions at this point. It doesn't matter. It's the end of the campaign. Why did you guys stop attacking? Hmm. Oh, part of the fleet. Nice. Has been killed. How much further do we have to go? Seven million are gonna have to die. Did you guys win here, actually? Oh, you guys did. Oh, look at that. They actually won. Um, it's in the army, probably. Yeah, we need more PP. War support's still okay. The Black Legion, no. Well, 100% American Workers' Party. Sorry for Afghanistan. I'm not sure how good that's going to be, or how useful that's going to be now, but I guess we can do it. Raj, we're still working on. It is what it is, you know. Looking pretty good. It's not like our, there's a big change in color here, of course. It's us and the Raj, it is what it is. Keep going, keep going. I think we've pretty much broken them at this point. Get the heck out of these mountains, man. <laughs> I'm going to trade the mountains for other mountains. That's how we roll here. And the Feng Shin government has done extremely well. Look at that. They're, it's all almost China. The Feng Shin government. Nice. Philippine divisions go bye-bye. Yeah, but this has, been, this has been a very long campaign for me. Like, I, don't, I definitely don't want to do another one really soon, but we'll see. Good, 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 good. Wait, what? Okay. Well, Shnikes. Alright. I'm going to take it all. I don't care. I mean, without us, the Third International would have been lost, and even France is gone, so... Thank you. Bosnia has Govina. Thank you. Thank you. Bing. Bong. Boom. Just open these. No. Open these all up. I don't know why sometimes they're open and sometimes they're not. Alright. There we go. Cool. Well, that's probably going to be the campaign, my friends. I guess. Oh. Oh. Hello. We got another one? That is very weird. Uh, I guess it's not the campaign yet. Of course, Africa has so many states. So do these guys, too, though. Guess we have to reconquer everything here, huh? huh? Oh, we deserve all of it. I mean, that's killing our stability, which makes perfect sense, but still. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Thank you, thank you. Do we have another one? Hopefully not, but that's the world. Oh, we're still at war. How are we still at war with somebody? Yeah, no, I'm not going to kill off these guys. But Jay Lovestone, elected executive director. Lovestone has been overseeing the complete transformation of our republic into a truly Marxist technocracy. And as such, members of the Technocratic Committee, Congress, and CSS have all supported him in his recent bid to become executive director for life so that he may safeguard the dream of James Burnham. Today, the vote has been made official as Congress has officially elected him executive director, to which Lovestone thanked Congress and promised an international revolution against the capitalist exploiters. The future is today, my friends. Um, is that it? That might be literally it. I'll do focus for FA. Focus on autocomplete. There you go. Mech exceptionalism. And this one too. Cool. I don't think there's anything else here. But I guess that's going to be it, like I said earlier. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Um, I obviously wasn't able to get back Hawaii or Alaska yet. But if we were to, we would probably be able to. But regardless, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.